when playing sports, oh, let me just, just full disclosure, when I was a kid, I used to play football. I used to play in the Pop Warner League. So um, one of the most important things I learned about playing in the Pop Warner League is uh, playing for Coach Yarn. I played on the Blitz. One of the most important things, we, we wore green too that year. The year, Well, one of the years to the jersey that I still have, we, we wore green. Uh, I wore 21 for Dominique Wilkins. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. So one of the most important things that you learn when you're playing youth sports is teamwork. Teamwork is of the utmost importance. It's very important. You have to be able to get along and play with the people on your team. Now, Dwight Howard played with Kobe. Didn't get along with Kobe. He had problems. But that's Kobe, you say. Kobe is just cold. Okay, so Dwight Howard played with James Harden. Didn't get along. Okay, so that's James Harden, you say, right? But remember, James Harden played in OKC. He got along with Westbrook. He got along with Durant. He got along with Ibaka. He got along with everybody on that team. They loved each other. So when you say that Howard didn't get along with Kobe, I say, okay, it's Kobe. But then you say Howard didn't get along with Harden? Who, yeah, he, he takes a lot of shots and he wants to be the focal point of everything and he really doesn't want to pass the ball and he either wants to score it or get the assist. You are 100% right, but he also plays well with others. So maybe there's some underlining motives. Because when Harden and Howard played together, them two was a tough fucking team. I mean, those guys were tough. When they played together, they were tough. Okay? Tough. Now, when you watch the games where they didn't play together, which was probably about 80% of the time, they had a tough time. But when those two played together, they were a hard team to beat. I don't care what anyone say. They were a hard team to beat. So, right now, he's about to get asked questions about relations with other players. Again, you can make this more in general. It doesn't have to be about yours with Harden. But I, I'm, I'm thinking of my sport in, in football. If I didn't get along with somebody, we still kind of had our jobs on the field to do, and we would do them, you know, so the team would be successful. It seems in basketball the relationship is so much more important to the success of the team. Does it, does it seem more difficult in basketball to put aside differences if you don't get along to have that success as a team? Uh, well, it shouldn't be. Uh, it, it shouldn't be hard at all. You know, I, for myself, you know, I can't speak on any other player, but I know for myself, you know, I love the team atmosphere. You know, I love having relationships with, you know, guys on my team uh, because I think, you know, once you have those relationships, once you know the ins and outs of uh, the person that you're playing with, you know, uh, just makes you want to play harder for that person because you know what they stand for. And, you know, there was a couple of guys on the team that, you know, we really had a great relationship. And, you know, even to this day, uh, we continue to talk, you know. So um, I think it's the most important thing of, in basketball or any sport, is, especially a team sport, is the relationships that you have away from the game, you know, because that just develops the chemistry and you really learn how to talk to your teammates, uh, there's some guys you can yell at, some guys you have to pull to the side, you know, but by sitting down and, you know, developing that chemistry away from the game, you, you tend to learn those things. Mike and Mike, Dwight Howard. Okay, so it's obvious. Dwight Howard wants to be a leader. You can't just want to be a leader because you're a good player. Some of the best leaders are some of the most average players you will ever come across, and that's why a lot of the average players become coaches. Just because you're great at shooting doesn't make you a great leader. Just because you have superior court vision, that doesn't make you a great leader. Just because you could pull down 20 rebounds a game, that does not make you a great leader. Character makes you a leader. Character. When you're at a need for character, you are not a great leader. When you are a character, that doesn't necessarily make you a great leader. He wants to be the leader of the team because he, I guess, feels like it's owed him because he's been looked at as a professional basketball, going to be in the NBA since he was a child. Well, okay, most of the people in the NBA were looked at that way. It all boils down to this, Mr. Dwight Howard. You can't shoot. You have very limited post moves and... 
the best aspect on your about your game is your defense and your rebounding. If you're not going to shoot, embrace the defense and rebounding. I don't know no other way to say it. If you're not going to practice shooting, but you're going to keep pumping them weights, practice. And, and then on top of that, for anybody that doesn't know, there's a reason why Kevin Durant is so skinny and he's one of the best shooters in the NBA. There's a reason why Curry is so skinny and he is the best shooter in the NBA. There's a reason why LeBron James is diesel as heck and he's just so on and off. It's the weightlifting. The weightlifting augments your touch. So when you lift a lot of weights and your your strength is cons- is, is is moving upwards or even downwards drastically over the course of a season, your your, your touch and your your jump shot is going to change. So that's why LeBron James looks so ugly when he's shooting his jump shot. Because he lifts so much weight that he's just uncomfortable. That's why his jump shot looks as ugly as it does. He's trying so hard to be balanced. That's why Steph Curry jump shot looks so pretty. That's why Reggie Miller jump shot looks so pretty. That's why I don't I can't even explain Ray Ray Allen. All I'm guessing is, is that Ray Allen got his body to a point and then kept it at that point rather than trying to consistently get stronger. But most of the guys who have big muscles are not great shooters. Dwight Howard have to decide if he's going to be a great shooter. Well, he's not never going to be a great shooter. He has to decide if he's going to be a defensive player or an offensive player. If he's going to be a defensive player and a rebounder, keep doing what you're doing. Work on your post moves. If you want to make your average go up about 10 points as, as much as he gets fouled, his average will go up 10 points if he can hit um, 60% from the line, right? We could agree with that. If the White Howard can hit, hit 60% of his free throws from the line, back to what He'd, he'd, uh, he would definitely, unquestionably, get 10 points on his average. If he could hit 60%, just 60%, he's shooting like 40-something percent, right? If he hit 60% from the line, he could, his, his average would go up. Anyway, that's it for today. I just saw the Dwight Howard interview. Uh, I just wanted to cover it because uh, him going to Atlanta, it just doesn't make, I mean, it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. He wants to get on a team where the ball moves freely, and uh, but everybody on Atlanta also shoots. So I'm, I'm guessing he, I'm guessing it'll be a good look for him. I don't know. The East is weak, so you know, just coming to the East. Like I said, I said the Dwight Howard was one of the guys I said needed to come to the East. I said Durant and Dwight Howard needed to come to the East. Durant didn't go to the East, but he went to the the freaking runner ups. So you know, I'm guessing if he didn't go to Golden State, he would have came to the East. Like, because the East is weak. So, the way I went to the, uh, he would have been good on the, nah, I don't know about the Knicks. He, there's too many strong personalities. And, uh, but the way Howard obviously has something going on with his personality. People are just not liking him. It's crazy because he looks like he should be likable. But, um, I, I think he's just, maybe he's just soft. Like in sports, it's not about being like you just can't be soft. I'd rather be. I'd rather. I'd rather people don't like me than I be soft. Like if if you don't want to like me, not a problem. But I'm not gonna be a punching bag. That's what it is. Anyway, uh, that's about it. And I'll check you later.